Hi, I'm Jeff Allen off the gridiron. Today, Keith and Landon joined me in the outdoors at Timberlands. We're gonna go make a fire, have some lunch, go for a swim, and see what else we can find. Stay tuned. See if there's any deer tracks in the mud. Well, something's been here. See the deer tracks, boys? Yeah. Something's walked right up the road in front of us. And I'm Dottie and here we are at Timber Lanes and you're off the gridiron. We are going to have a shore lunch. We're going to have a swim in the Crow River and uh, then we're going to heat up some water on our uh, firebox uh, homemade stove and we're going to have some Mr. Noodles and enjoy a riverside lunch. Stay tuned, we'll show you how we do it. Hey, we're down at the Timberlane's watering hole. The boys are out having a swim, and I'm going to set up our firebox stove, and uh, we're going to get some lunch ready. We're just about ready to start our shore lunch, but first we need to process a little bit of firewood so we can use in our firebox. And what better way to do that is with my new purchase, the Silky Big Boy 2000. Brand new out of the package, and we're going to test it on this little bit of pine behind us and uh, I guess it might be uh, a balsam and uh, that'll serve as good fuel for, for our firebox. Let's see how this thing cuts. It has two different positions. One position like this for back cutting and proper position like this with a little bit of curvature. To use this you pull in the pull stroke. And the Silky Big Boy Extra Large Teeth makes very quick work of any cutting task. Very smooth cut, very clean, and with very little effort. Pull stroke only. With ease. The Silky Big Boy just made short work of that. That was uh, a tree about five inches in diameter. And uh, I think I could cut through it in about 12 pulls. I like it.
Okay, this is the firebox. We've just assembled it. On the top is all the, the grates, and that can come off um, off the top if you need to. Slides apart to access the inside, but we're gonna, because of the volume of fuel we're gonna burn today in terms of twigs, we're gonna leave that assembled together. And then we can uh, just feed from the bottom. So as we feed the fuel in from the bottom, Lots of the air holes all around the outside allow the fire to breathe. And then we're gonna heat up some water and have some lunch. Just keep adding fuel. And then get a bit of the basic coals, put the lid back on, and then we can add our, our pot, get our water boiling. Once the firebox gets going and a good base of coals, and the top is clear, you can put the lid back on. And it just rocks over there and stays there. So now with the pot, there you go. And a little trick to keep the handle from falling down is just put a stick across ways like this and it keeps it well out of the way of the uh, and just as they burn down keep feeding the back inside And after about five minutes, water is plenty hot for some Mr. Noodles. All right, boys, lunch is ready. Okay, bring your bowl over. Okay, so you put the noodles in there first. In the bowl? Quality, quality healthy lunch for lunch today, eh? We never get these guys. Can you get open? Mm -hmm. Okay, put it in here. In the pot at the same time? Yep, yeah, you can put the sprinkles in. Okay, put the sprinkles on top. And put that back in the garbage. important you got to keep this handle up out of the, uh, the fire because it really radiates off the side so I'll let that steam away and get the other one ready Bet he didn't come in paper packages. That'd be much easier. Mm, what's Daddy having? Spicy beef.
let those sit for a few minutes. Get the Riverside snack. Okay. Uh oh, that's not very good. Get these off. There's a little knots off here, so we don't have to sit on those. I'm getting the towel on. Okay, get the towel on. We'll get a seat. Yeah, we'll get some lunch. Lunch is all ready, guys. Okay, here we go. Okay, just me. No, he isn't. Okay, leave your leave your white towel up there, Keith. Okay, we're gonna have noodles first. Yeah, I'm putting my towel. Oh, yours are ready, Keith. Mine ready. Where's yours? That looks sore, Landon. Uh, oh. I just tripped over the I tripped over the wood. You want a ham sandwich too? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yours are still a little bit hard. I know. Okay. Now these are a little bit crunchy too. We did Keaton's first and that's why it's sat a little longer. I'm gonna mix my noodles up, let them sit for a minute. You guys also want a ham sandwich? Mm. You see the stove? That's pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Cooked all the I didn't make it. Well, this is the one I made at home and I made a fire and cooked lunch. That's pretty cool. Is that like a lathe or something? No, I just started it with the ferro rod. No, oh, actually, I, uh, I had a lighter this time, then because I didn't have, I left my ferro rod up in the truck. What's the ferro rod? You know that sparking rod? Oh, yeah. Like that laser thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, get a few more bits in here. I bet it'll probably move back to the log. We found another big one. Yeah? It's like, it's like, like, like the same one as the other. Yeah. That, same size crayfish? Yeah. That we, Except its body was a little bit. That we caught and then it landed and accidentally killed it. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. These are really fresh buns, Landon. Want a sandwich now? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let mine sit out for a bit. And then bugs are gonna get in it. Oh, that's fine. Don't kick any dirt in it. Ethan, are you ready for a sandwich? Nice lunch, eh? You go for a swim, have some soup and a sandwich. Or a pig. You know? Can you keep it over there for a little bit? Okay, Let's sit right here. Because I'm, I'm going to finish this. Well, it was dead. It was the one laying down over there, and I just brought it back so we can have a bench to sit on. We didn't have anything to sit on. Mmm. So yummy, eh? No, just one. There's another pack too. That's a lot of meat. Yeah. I might get some more after this. Okay.
How is it, guys? Pretty good? Is there more crayfish in there? Hmm? Is there more crayfish? There's crayfish in there, but we only have one in here. Okay. Oh. Are you going to go catch some more? We couldn't find any more frogs. We only found one. Okay. Ready? Drink the juice. I'm going to lose my, um, here, can I dump mine in here? Sure. Okay, there you go. Yeah, see you. Put your bowl over there. My, my bun, I'm going to eat, um, like, on the, the way where, back. Where is it? Uh, I think you ate it already. Unless it's in the bag. Yeah, it's in the bag. Okay, put that up there. Okay. Is it all good, Keaton? Yeah. Okay. No, no. Take it down there. Daddy, did you already catch another cook? I don't know. Take it down with you. There's two in there. Take it down with you. For some reason. Okay. Works good. Oh, Riverside lunch, success. The firebox worked well. With any firebox of this size, the only real complaint is constantly have to fueling it with such small pieces. But other than that, it uh, it boiled the water, and that's what we needed for uh, for our soup and sandwich lunch. That was good. Keaton, Keaton, just take it down. Take it down with you. Okay, take it down with you. No, no, the bucket won't. No, no, just take it down there. No, no, put it on the side. You know, Mr. Noodles, not the healthiest, healthiest of lunches, but certainly something quick and easy for the kids and uh, for me. And I always like the spicy, spicy ones. Any spicy chicken, spicy beef. I find that anything that makes my nose rolling gives me a little bit of extra energy. <laughs> so I'm going to put a couple of larger pieces on this just to keep our, our firebox smoldering away just in case we need it in a little while. And uh, may make myself another sandwich. Boys are down there looking for frogs and crayfish. They love doing that. Right, Keaton? Yep. Oh, here's my sandwich up here. Okay, take it, take it with you. I'm looking for the fishing rod. You want to try to catch some fish? Yeah. Okay. Okay, good luck. Don't get it stuck in the trees. No smoke though now. Silky saw worked great. Silky Big Boy 2000. I was looking for a, a good replacement folding saw and it, it really worked well. Really aggressive extra large teeth. You got to go at uh, your cutting very carefully so you're not to, to bend the saw. But if you're concentrating on just the pull stroke 
It works every time. You okay? Okay. Hmm. Well, that's lunch. We've had it. Hi guys, Jeff Allen off the grid iron. Once again, here I am bringing to you a silky big boy 2000 review. The saw is a release, quick release and drops into positive lock at one or two positions. I believe that second position is great for an undercut where you're reaching under the lower side of a branch. I like it in the first position and it gives that bow which really gives this tacky rubber baseball grip bat-like handle uh, a positive pull. This is a pull stroke only saw, 16 inch blade, 6.5 teeth per inch. <clears throat> This is an old down maple. With ease, I'm not even working hard cutting it. Let's get this one out of the way here. Well, that was quick and easy. You gotta watch that on the push stroke, you don't buckle the saw. This is super dry, hard, off the ground maple, and it cuts it super clean with very little effort. Okay, super safe way to process wood. If I was to cut that with an axe, I'd be swinging, it'd be very, uh, require a great, greater effort. But simply in a low, kind of safe manner, be able to pull stroke only and just choose through those branches with ease. This is the Big Boy, Silky Big Boy 2000. Super great saw. You should get one and get it in your kit. Get it on your ATV, get it in your camping gear. Safe reliable, and definitely a limb killer. Get your one today. Well, as promised, the Silky Big Boy 2000 delivered. Super aggressive teeth, made in Japan, high quality steel, 6.5 teeth per inch, 16 inch blade, and super aggressive. Makes really quick action, quick work out of any, any log or, or cutting need. Grippy, textured, rubber handle this little flare here really gives you that kind of positive grip here easily held baseball bat grip and you just have to watch you don't get too far far ahead because that releases the blade now the blade has clicks into positively clicks into first position or second position which gives it this bow but i believe that would be ideal for working kind of a back cut and then flicking it back over and then having that positive, that bow shaped curve for a positive pull stroke. Silky Big Boy 2000. Definitely made its way into my kit. It should make its way into yours. Hi, it's Jeff. Keaton. Landon. And you've been off the gridiron. Thanks for joining us today. We had a shore lunch. We caught crayfish and frogs. Uh, we reviewed the Silky uh, Big Boy 2000 saw. And uh, we had a look at my uh, firebox, uh, little wood stove in action, so uh, to heat the water and cook our lunch. So thanks for joining us in this episode. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you again another time off the gridiron. Enjoy the outdoors. Bye for now.
Okay, stop.